I spent 200 days in oxygen not included, the frosty planet pack. Can we continue surviving by insulating the base, setting up proper oxygen production and advancing into the mid game? I'm playing on the default settings. Welcome back to 100 days here in oxygen not included. Where we last left off, well we started off in the frosty pack here. We have the essential sub, we have a lot of, or not a lot of oxygen, but it will come back. We have a proper toilet system, we have water liquid water in this frozen biome so we can do that by insulating all of this and then just keeping this warm but yeah let's just continue right off now i was going to go for this setup here with the altmo suits but i don't think it's worth it i think it's better if we insulate the whole base and then have an exit with the atmo suits so all of this has to go for now unfortunately but it was good now all the oxygen will flow out yeah that is going to pop some eardrums that pressure now then hatchlings they have to come in here we will feed them what should we feed them we have a lot of granite so maybe that or igneous rock yeah, doesn't really matter so i would like to insulate all of this down here suffocating of course there we go you're fine we need to keep on researching so solid transport now then look at that hatches wow so we can get some coal that's good well then uh, now what yeah i think i should get an electrolyzer set up i think it will benefit us the extra hydrogen could be turned into power air pressure is not ideal i think we'll have some atmo suit stations over here new atmo suit station here and i think i'll get some ethanol for the liquid lock so it doesn't freeze we're barely using up any power so the petroleum generator should be fine right so we have the airlock here our people are a bit stressed but i want to make the electrolyzer now we cannot have atmo suits because there's no more oxygen so we need this we need to do it without atmo suits so yes work on this for now oh somium synthesizer is here that's good so with the electrolyzer setup i will need liquid water so i will need a lot of water so i have a liquid tepidizer here if the temperature is like below 21 celsius it will turn on We'll just keep dumping ice in there. We have unlimited ice. So for now, should I insulate this? I'm going to insulate all of this because then we get hot oxygen in and that will heat up the base eventually, which we want. However, all of this will die. All the farm tiles with the pike apples. So the pike apples we move outside into the cold and also the phloxes. But the hatches can stay. How about the alvo vera? And yeah, that isn't really relevant when we have an electrolyzer set up. So we just use a carbon skimmer, remove the alvo vera once it gets too warm and then we should be good i will also need to research where is it conductive wires yes i need that our people are getting stressed that i'm baked yeah this is not good catherine rose is always getting stuck like a stepsister get down this design is from francis john electrolyzer setup so let's see how it works although i've used it before so i know it works we're getting very stressed out what is going on we need to increase the temperature and we also need oxygen yeah I think it's the soaping wet debuff. 20 stress is insane. I thought we would have Atmo suits, but I'm just going to deconstruct these, have them walk over. I'm going to start placing down some wood heaters. These will be good. Hmm, this is also good because it emits carbon dioxide. More carbon dioxide, more oxygen because of the Alvo Vera. Oh, wow. Electrolyzer setup should be up soon. Hmm, okay. They come here to get frost resistant. That's good. They are impervious to the cold for a few seconds. There we go. All of this sudden and the stress went down after I placed down the wood heaters, so it's working. Oh, people are having a mess because they dug out some natural tiles here, I assume. Ah, oh, Jesus, this is hard. Building melted. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay. Let's replace the tiles. Uh-oh, oxygen is looking dire. Okay, this needs to go online now. Well, this is soon done, so we're flowing through. Ah, regular hatches don't eat granite. Yes, yeah, get some sand and we have another dupe here. Operator, do we need need him i already have like three engineers so i think we're fine although i still want him welcome aboard kagoref so we just connect the vents we have the water coming in the power should be good everything should be ready well done it is time supply of water needs to come in and we have to worry about water too so that's the only issue maybe i should get an automatic dispenser i need to get ice in here that's the only issue automatic dispenser here and yeah, we need oxygen now come on water it's coming coming in it's flowing cold damage yes that's not good it should be fine now so do this come on hurry up before it freezes you see this oh my 
goodness. No, no, no. Go on now. So now this will work. Yep. It'll take some quick starting to do, but it should be fine. Yes, it's starting. It is starting. And yeah. There we go. It's working. So now we can deconstruct all of this. Oh, generator, you've been good. So yeah, electrolyzer setup is up. We've got oxygen coming in. However, now we need to worry about water. What I'm going to do is get ice here. I'll need to insulate all of this. Yep. This will need to be repaired for a bit. Yep. But this is looking good. So now let's get the atmosuit docks. This is a glorious sight to see. Automation. Oxygen levels are slowly coming back. See, it's getting very warm in here. So that's means warm oxygen. Atmos suits, connect that to the power grid. Water is running out though, so I'm going to need some temp shift plates, I think. Oxygen, just like that. Looking good. Look at this free power from the hydrogen generator. 800 watts, so some excess hydrogen. Although water, yeah, that is not looking good. That ice isn't liquefying. Yeah, more problems, more problems. Salt water, I need you back right now. Desalinator back up, I need this straight away. I think we'll be right in time, or maybe a little bit late, but it shouldn't matter. We actually have too much wood now. Now, there's no such thing as too much. We have a lot, and that's good. Yeah, this colony is just doing wonders right now. There we go, salt water. Yeah, this is about to run dry. Here we go, it's working. This is going to overload, though, that's the only issue. Oh, wait, you know what I should do? I should insulate all of this, because, yeah, the heat is seeping in here. It's seeping out here, which I don't want to do. I want to insulate. Speaking of which, we need more igneous rock. Look at the oxygen levels. Looks good, no? So now the next step is to insulate the whole base. Yeah. I would also like more hatch ranches. Also got coal coming in so we can start getting some coal generators eventually. But yeah, we have solved our power issue. We have wood burners. We have petroleum generators, hydrogen generators, and now coal generators. And I need more igneous rock. That's an issue. This salt water gate is keeping our colony alive. Oh, wow. All of our flux ranches are up. Or they're filled up, should I say. They're starting to roam here. Well, I will eventually have to move the ranches outside. Oh, well, just get one more ranch, I suppose. Now water is starting to come back in. Good to see. We have a blueprint here of a spigot pop. I have no idea what this is. It eats bonbon trees and excretes ethanol. Yeah, that is very strange. So, now we need Need to go out and mine. We'll need more igneous rock. Oh, I'll keep on constructing. I would also like to research some stuff for the mid game. So metal refinery. Hmm, I wonder if I can automatically melt the ice with the ice liquefier. And then an auto sweeper can just dump that in. That would be cool. I'd also like to keep on researching. Where's the steam engine? Where are the steam turbines? Here, renewable energy. Let's see here. This should work, right? Wait, enable auto bottle. I don't think it's working, actually. Okay, we have to do it manually then. Anyways, keep on insulating the base. Now then, this shouldn't be too long. Then we can start heating up the base slowly but surely. So, this is all the research that we've done. What do we actually need now? I have no idea, but just research. Oh, wait, plastic manufacturing. And as you can see, the whole base has been insulated. Okay, yes, this left. So now all the heat will stay in here. We'll eventually have to move all the fluxes, but that's fine. Now we need to haul all the ice in here. The ice will slowly start to melt. Ooh, this is interesting. A dehydrator. Oh my, so you can essentially make packaged survival meals. I want to know what that is all about. Then we don't have to worry about all the refrigeration and such. The core in the base looks all right. Oh no, our dupes cannot sleep here because it's too bright. Okay, I have to move these. Need to replace the wires with conductive wires so they don't overload us easily. Yeah, the pie cap aren't really growing anymore because of the body temperature. I will have to grow these outside, so I'll move them here. I'll need some more Atmo suits. I need more of these spam offs. I'm actually going to have the digger skill into exosuit training because then they don't have the exosuit reduction. So usually you move slower in the exosuits. If you have this, then you don't move that slowly. Now it's starting to warm up. The base will soon be warm and nice. Spam off, you have to be sheared. We will shear them and then we will kill them. That's the way of the humans. 
diamonds. Bamf has been sheared, so die. Now with the reed fiber, we can make so many atmo suits. Six in total. Now then, dehydrator. I need plastics. Okay. How much coal do we have? Oh my goodness. Almost seven tons there. 6.9. Nice. And the ethanol here, there's still so much. Never runs out. Draconian manufacturing these atmo suits. So, let's work on the farms. We need some of them. We have so much food. Barbecue, souffle pancakes. How do we have 130 kilocalories of raw eggs? What? Must be from the flux eggs, no? Now then, pike apple salts out of the base where it's cold. I'm going to have to insulate all of this stone. I don't want this heat leaking out. There we go. No more heat leakage. Water is looking good. Everything is good. Water here is starting to run low, so I'm just going to make the pump deeper down. We'll also analyze this salt water geyser, but it might be too warm. I'll do it when it's dormant, I think. Now then, base is really good. I think we're going to work on this now. We want to dig deeper and deeper into the oil biome. Ah, oh, we're going to dig right into a volcano. Uh, yeah, that is not good. I want to have a straight path down though, so yeah, let's just go. Somnion Synthesizer. I've discovered a new dream analyzing building buried deep inside our asteroid. It seems to contain new sleep specific suits. Could these be the key to unlocking my duplicate's ability to dream? I've often wondered what they might be capable of once their imaginations were awakened. Yeah, this is a very great structure, but not now. Not now. More of a side quest thing. Let's see here. This will be cooking. Yeah, a thousand Celsius. <laughs> Turns into steam. Yeah, that is great, but it's too cold outside. Building melted, of course. You can construct out of obsidian here. Also going to get some insulated tiles. And now an ancient specimen. I've discovered a fossilized critter buried in my colony. At least part of one. But it does not resemble any of the species we have encountered on this asteroid. Where did it come from? How did it get here? And what other questions? might these bones hold the answer to? There is only one way to find out. We need to excavate this, but uh, yeah, that thing is right in our path, which is horrible. Now that all of this has been insulated, dig deeper. Another volcano, which is good. Hmm, I can see the fossils here. Petrified fossil, and I can see crude oil. We are so fast and efficient. Good to see. Oh wow, what is this? Liquid water. Wait, I see heat. There are actually biomes with proper heating here. So we have the forest biome here. That is interesting. Mercury gas. What is going on? Everything is melting. Oh well. More forest biomes. This is good. We got liquid mercury. How is this possible? Anyways, there it is. The oil biome. I don't want to dig into this boulder here, so we just stop right here. So, what's the plan now? Oil biome. I would like to set up some power sources, because this ethanol will run out soon. So, coal generators. So, this is the blueprint now for the new power station. So now it's working, yeah. Now then, deconstruct all of this. Don't need the petroleum. Now everything is up. I would like to get an initial source of steel and plastic. 95 tons, that is good. And coal, 20 tons. Okay, we need some wood burners, I think. Initially, get some polymer presses. And we also need a metal refinery. Also have a geo vent here. An abandoned geothermal power plant has been discovered. My scans indicate that this facility comprises multiple buildings located throughout the planet with plumbing entrenched so deep in the terrain that much of it is beyond our reach. Most of the accessible portions look quite functional. Hmm, I see it. Geothermal heat pump. So I will need some oil, so dig down. New colony achievement. Let's see here. A bunch of them. Yeah. Oh my, we got a streak. Let's see here. Average power produced has increased. Total oxygen produced. Everything is looking good with the colony. What is going on here? Huge boulder. Where's all the oil. Let's see, more oil down here. I need all the oil. I know oxygen pressure in the base is actually too high. Yeah, that's not good, but it should be fine. Now, that should be enough oil right there. We will plop down a pump here and destroy this biome. Get all of its resources. Colonize it. So we need a pump that's warm enough. 136 Celsius. That is way too warm, actually. And we don't have any gold. Wolframite? No. Okay, I have a different plan. I'm going to make some 
some steel or wait tungsten tungsten overheat temperature plus 50 125 i don't know i need steel for now i'll just use this water here i will need some refined carbon which means coal i need eggshell to lime fossil to lime and i also need refined carbon so let's get oh we can do wood to refine carbon interesting but yeah coal is more efficient oh we have coal down here that is perfect we need coal coal in the oil biome refined carbon we're actually getting some steel now no we will get a steel pump and then it can withstand temperature actually it's cold enough now to where tungsten could be good but oh well steel the liquid pump i need 400 kilos of steel but as you can see the temperature of that get some more water down there maybe that is a lot of sour gas where did the heat come from oh well oh well all of this is working got some steel so now steel pump and also where are all the oil wells how do i get a renewable source of oil i don't see any oh people are getting stressed out what is going on change why are you stressed and uh, not anymore now done oil pump there it is so we're going to get some plastic yeah. gas vent over pressure that's not good oh wait this needs petroleum oh my goodness let's get an oil refinery done now done wait heat damage and i'm going to use petroleum max gas pressure are you kidding me this sour gas is so annoying well i'm just going to mine out some space then what is even going on down here there we go oil refinery so petroleum is coming in good good and petroleum has a much higher point of evaporation only at 500 celsius does it turn into sour gas so now we can see some resources here that have been coal steel wood and plastic we need soon okay resources are coming in everything is looking good we just need enough resources so we can set this up properly uh oh oxygen oxygen is not looking too good there's too much carbon dioxide that's the problem now carbon skimmers working so we should be fine oh wait i can use petroleum generators here for power now this sour gas has gone so far up my pike apples aren't growing this sour gas oh we have an anti-entropy thermal nullifier this can cool down the base okay i think we have enough steel and plastic so now we can deconstruct all of this okay so i think i want the industrial zone up here not a lot of space but it should be good enough even has a volcano we can tame so for now start digging so i have the design right here might look a bit complicated but i will explain it as we go on however the somium synthesizer is in the way so it will have to be part of this contraption i will also need to pipe up this oil yeah we have way too much oxygen are we getting popped eardrums what in the world three thousand five almost three thousand five hundred grams of pressure five thousand here yeah popped eardrums look at that we're almost maxed out on water wow why is draconian so sad popped eardrums yeah that is bad you know what for now just cut off oxygen supply from the electrolyzer that is oh uh, yeah six kilograms of pressure that's way too much but yeah it has been 200 days here in oxygen not included i mean yeah we have done so much insulated the base got some oil got some plastic and steel so now we will set this all up i want steam turbines aqua tuners and all of that and this will be the power room here filled with carbon dioxide and petroleum generators so yeah let's just see how it goes but anyways thanks for watching and if you're bored and watch this video next.